Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Today we are going to do a comparison video between two of the most popular vacuum mop combos that I've seen on the market. I have fully tested both of these. I've tested about five other ones that are a little bit cheaper, uh, but these are the top two of the ones I've tested. So as far as cleaning, both of these do a very good job cleaning. Uh, one of them is marked quite a bit cheaper retail price and one of them has much better overall features. Both of them are smart in the sense that they have a sensor built inside that when it detects excess dirt on the floor, it'll automatically boost up suction and boost up the water output, therefore doing a much better job cleaning. They both have an app that you can connect to. They both have edge cleaning. One is definitely better than the other and gets closer, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Now for the big differences and why I think the Roborock is a much better value. One, of course, it's cheaper. $150 cheaper for a very good, very good company. A couple of the big differences, which once again, I will show you up close in a moment. I just want to go over all the key differences and then I'll show you some of the actual footage that I have about what I'm telling you about. So this base station on the Roborock will not only clean itself, it will automatically hot air dry the rollers. The Teamco cannot do that at all. So the Teamco will sit there and just basically stay wet until you use it again. Therefore, could grow mold or kind of have a stinkiness to it after a while. The Roborock will spin the brushes with hot air and completely dry it within about two hours. So that is a huge advantage. Another cool thing that the Roborock has that the other one does not is a auto dispenser for your cleaning solution. The Teamco on the right, you have to add your solution every single time that you fill up the water tank. The Roborock has a little container built into the vacuum and it will automatically dispense a little bit of the solution as it's cleaning. And they say you can get up to 30 cleaning runs on one little tank. So that's something you don't have to do ever on the Roborock until it empties and then you quickly fill it for another 30 cleaning runs. All right, on to the base stations. The Teamco on the right once again will just charge the unit and automatically clean the rollers. That's it. The one on the left, Roborock, will charge it, clean the rollers, and once again, hot air dry the rollers, which can be very important because if you use this a lot and those mopping pads are always soaking wet, you're going to get a stink out of it after a while, not with the hot air drying. So you can see here, these little holes, that's where the air comes through and it puts it in between the two mopping rollers, which I'll show you that in a moment. And they spin every 15 minutes to ensure that it gets completely dry. There's a little fan in here, as well as a little heating element. And that's what's giving you your hot air. All right, once again, on the Roborock, you do get the auto dispenser. That's this little tank right here. Fill this up with your solution, and it'll last up to 30 runs. Very simple. Another huge difference on these two is the Teamco only has one roller brush, whereas the Roborock has three, or if you want to call it two. It's got a front and a back that rotate in opposite directions and forces the debris up into the unit. Yeah, so these will spin down. This one will spin up, forcing your debris into it. Another great thing on the Roborock compared to the other one, it can get within one millimeter of your baseboards, very, very close. Whereas this one gets about, I'd say a quarter of an inch to a half an inch because this doesn't overlap the part that holds it in place. So as you can see, you know, about a quarter of an inch total there. This one, one millimeter. So that's pretty important because if you use this all the time and it's always missing that little tiny section of your baseboard, you're just gonna have dust collecting there. This one's gonna do a better overall job cleaning it. Roborock also has this little slide on front that helps with the size of debris. So right now you have it opened and it can pick up bigger pieces. If you know you're not gonna have bigger pieces 
and you want it for more fine dust and a better suction, you click that open and that lowers down. Here's a very good test showing it. Put down some ketchup, flour, and some rice, and you can see the suction power pulls the flour right off the baseboard and does a very, very good job. For a pretty tough mess to clean up, let's be honest. One more pass, we'll get up that rice on the right with no issue. And that's about how far it can get from your actual baseboards. You can see if this was dusty right there, about, I'd say a half an inch or so. All right, there we have it. So both of these clean very, very well. The Teen Co, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a really good vacuum slash mop. However, I feel like the biggest issue with it is its price point. $4.99 is very expensive for something that can't even automatically dry its mopping pads where a lot of companies already have that built into their systems. I feel like the Roborock cleans overall a little bit better because of the roller system. Obviously having more than one roller, it's gonna do a better job cleaning. I like the fact that it gets closer to your baseboards. I like the auto dispenser, the automatically heat drying your Mopping pads, I think that's huge. And overall, it's a much, much better value at $349 right now. Um, it really can't be beat. There's nothing better on the market than that currently at its sale price. Let me know what you guys thought. If you agree, I'll put links down below for both of these. If you're interested in either one, feel free to use that link. And all the added benefits that I showed you the Robark has should be a no-brainer to you guys as well. So. Let me know in the comments if you agree once again. Um, if there's anything specific you want to know, I'll try to answer for you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thanks a lot.